in the heart of Dallas's Arts District. You'll find a century-old red brick building, once home to the original Booker T. Washington Bulldogs. My name is Fred Walker, class of 1960. Alumni of this historic school, Charles Chuck Wilson, class 1965, have some treasured stories to share as they celebrate this high school centennial and its unique history in the city of Dallas. Being a bulldog, being a graduate of this high school meant the world. It was, in, it was a family. You see, when the school opened in 1922, Booker T. Washington was the only public high school for African Americans in the city of Dallas. Well, everybody was bust in. For decades, students traveled here from communities all over, though some alumni will tell you segregation wasn't top of mind then. No, it was the way of life. Something that you accepted, you told, you know, you understood. Accepting that system of segregated education meant the Bulldogs couldn't compete against any of the other schools in the city. Sports did allow some students to leave town for competition. We would travel to Fort Worth, we would travel to Waco, we would travel to Austin. Many of the Bulldogs considered Booker T. Washington High School a safe haven. Janice Titus, class of 1966. Algeray Shaw Smith, class of 1966. It was a place where students learned life and technical skills when trades courses were added in 1952. Mellishop Cosmetology. Uh, hey, I even got my hair fixed for 25 cents. Okay. So don't knock the, don't knock the co <laughs> cosmetology. It was a school that helped groom many African-American educators, healthcare workers, and entrepreneurs. We were strong, we were tough, and we were great. In 1976, a desegregation order changed the landscape at this campus. Booker T. Washington High School became Dallas ISD's arts magnet. It was later renamed Booker T. Washington High School for the Performing and Visual Arts. My name is Emmanuel Gillespie, class of 1985. This high school's new mascot is Pegasus, and now it's among the most prestigious training grounds in the country for young artists. It's Booker T. Washington. It's my foundation. Sculptor Emmanuel Gillespie created a statue of Booker T. Washington grad and legendary Chicago Cubs player Ernie Banks. A lot of people paid the way for us to have this school today. This high school has also groomed a list of noted artists. My name is Sean Martin, class of 1996. Among them, musicians Erica Badu, Roy Hargrove, and other noted actors and dancers performing on screens and stages across the globe. Sean Martin is a Grammy Award winning composer and producer. It means a lot of things. It means a place of freedom, a place of creativity, a place of inspiration, hope. No matter the era, students past and present. My name is Kennedy Eagleton, class of 2023 are describing Booker T. Washington High School as a foundation. For me, it really was a place for me to grow. A fixture for generations of students. And an historical place that's encouraged them to soar for one century. Yeah, just don't forget about this school. Don't forget about these kids. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.